Managing user permissions in Acumatica is crucial for both security and productivity. To begin, navigate to the Access Rights by Role screen. You can find this by going to the User Security menu and selecting Access Rights by Role. Alternatively, use the Acumatica search bar to locate it directly. This screen is essential for controlling access to various modules, screens, and functionalities within the ERP system. Once on the Access Rights by Role screen, the next step is to select the role you wish to modify. In our example, we have created a new role named Test and assigned a user called Test User to this role. From the Role drop-down menu, select the desired role. This action will display all roles in the system, allowing you to choose the one you need to work with. By default, newly created roles have no access to any modules in Acumatica. You will need to manually grant permissions to specific modules and screens. In the Access Rights by Role screen, click the plus sign next to a module to reveal subcategories, which are individual screens. For instance, expanding the banking module will show a list of screens related to banking activities. This step ensures that users only access the necessary information and tools. Before assigning permissions, it is important to understand the various access levels Acumatica uses. These include revoked, where no access is granted, view, allowing users to see information without making changes, insert, permitting the addition of new entries, update, enabling changes to existing entries, and delete, which provides full access to the form and its functionality. Additionally, multiple rights indicates different restriction levels for nested objects within a workspace. Changing the level for the entire workspace from multiple rights to another option will apply the new level to all nested objects. Granted provides full access to all forms in the workspace, meaning the forms will have the delete restriction level. To grant access to a specific screen, navigate to the desired screen within the module. For example, to give the test role access to the anticipated cash transaction screen in the banking module, click the banking folder, find the anticipated cash transaction screen, and change the access rights value from revoke to delete. Save your changes. Now when test user logs in, they will see the banking module and be able to access the screen you modified. This process allows for precise control over user permissions. If you need to grant or restrict access for an entire module, rather than individual screens, there is a quicker method. In the Access Rights by Role screen, click on the Company folder and change the Access Rights column to Granted or Revoked for the entire module. Save your changes. When test user logs back in, they will have full access to the entire module, rather than just individual screens. This method streamlines permission management. With the Access Rights by Role screen, administrators can efficiently assign, change, and revoke access, ensuring that employees only interact with the parts of the system they need. This centralized control enhances security, maintains compliance, and improves workflow efficiency.